Okay, I want to be sure that I'm getting all of your names right. I believe I'm here with Jen Gray, Beck Donahue, Courtney Gonzalez, and Presley Empson. Yes. Yes. Okay, and these are their, uh, the sh the short film team enough from SMU right across the road. Glad you ladies uh, decided to stop over. All right, Jen, you're the screenwriter. Am I correct? Can you tell us a little bit about your film? Uh, so what the film is about is it takes place in her mind. Uh, she is doing a voiceover commercial for a lingerie company and through all the edits you see what's actually going on in her mind of all the times in her life she's thought about her own self-worth her own beauty her own -ness enoughness as you will yeah. all right Presley tell us a little bit more about the process of production as a student filmmaker like I have my memories of making student film and it can turn absolutely psycho chaos sometimes so how was your experience um commonly on student films yeah things do go crazy and go wrong but TBH that did not happen at all in this film like locations were locked good actors didn't drop you know my screenwriter was open to suggestions like everything went really well so the whole time honestly I was like pretty scared I was like something can go wrong at any minute but it didn't and it worked out really well I got to meet a lot of cool people um, so it was good yeah all right so we got like a confident, fun team of young women sticking together here. I am so proud to see that already on the red carpet together. All right, Courtney, tell us a little bit more about um, working with a female-centric crew and you know a female leader, a female director, and how that affects you as an actress. Oh, it was actually really fun. It's the first student film that I've had lead in, um, or actually ever been in. So it was definitely very exciting to work with all females, or mostly females. Um, and just knowing that we can all come together and create something that's more than just on YouTube. It's actually something important to all of us. So We had something to say and we all got to say it. So Now, how about you, Beck? Like, I know like we're talking about student films tonight, but hey, this is the Dallas International Film Festival and we expect to see all of you hopefully back with features in the future. And hopefully we'll get to keep you in Texas and not send you to LA or New York. Not that I don't love those two towns. <laughs> but what do you see for the future of young women in film? You know, art is really in flux in this country and, you know, discussions around femininity, around gender pay, like all these things are going on right now. I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> Actually, uh, I feel like and as a whole, women on the, the film front are pretty much moving in a very positive direction. We're seeing a lot more momentum from um, women who are making films, and I think that's really great. And thank you for acknowledging that we are a team of strong women here. Um, it was really great working on set with mostly women. <laughs> it was really empowering for a change. So, you know, it's really been just an overall great experience. <laughs> yeah, we did have um, we did have our casting crew was three fourths women. Um, obviously, it was written by women, directed by women. Uh, I edited it, so edited by women. <laughs> what the almost the whole cast was women. Yeah, it was very women power. Yeah. It was a sorority house. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I love it. It's yeah. hard getting the guys in there. Yeah. <laughs> there were no but, guys. And, no, we, we had, had a few. It was hard to get women. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had a few the like gaffers and stuff for men and so like having them being a sorority house for the first time they're kind of like oh okay like this is like what it looks like on the inside and everything like that which is great.